Hello, my name is Yi Liu. Uh, I'm graduated two years ago from school uh, degree MA course. Uh, what I'm doing now, uh, I'm I'm do, I'm kind of designer, uh, jewelry designer and maker here, and I use the plaster as my main materials. And uh, combined with the electrical copper and uh, silver and gold. Uh, the, my inspiration from the uh, Victoria Beer, the Mentimori jewelry and the Member jewelry. Uh, I use my, I create my pa uh, images in my pieces and try to transform a kind of uh, knife and the dice feeling to the people, to my view. And also, uh, because I, uh, why choose plaster as my main material? Because plaster can kind of transfer a kind of uh, wider feeling, uh, which is uh, really related to the uh, life of uh, fragility. Uh, before I uh, do an MA, uh, I'm a teacher in China for about three years. Um, so now I'm still doing the artist residence in the School of Jewelry uh, already for two years um, because I'm kind of interested about this uh, I'm quite enjoy with the uh, teaching process and uh, enjoy to talk with students and uh, to uh, discuss some questions and to help students to solve out some problems. Uh, that's the area of what I'm interested in. Is. <laughs> Could you explain um, what your process has been for establishing a profile and market for your work nationally and internationally? Uh, yeah, uh, after my graduate, uh, I tried to find some galleries from UK, uh, also from Europe, uh, and some, gallery or, uh, some galleries already uh, bought some pieces from uh, myself. Ooh. And also, uh, this, is, this is the one way I uh, from the gallery, uh, but another way I also try to find some client by myself. Mm -hmm. uh, always based some uh, craft uh, craft market and the craft fair in uh, around the UK, um, and also I try uh, I keep uh, keep trying to uh, to join some exhibitions uh, in the European. Um, also can help me to develop myself and uh, to explore my uh, potential market and mm -hmm. try to find some potential customers for myself. Yeah. Uh, and, for, uh, and in this stage, I, uh, because uh, you know I'm from China, but uh, in China the contemporary jewelry market is not that open enough. But uh, in this stage, there are also some people there uh, try to promote this kind of area. So I also uh, try to contact with them and uh, try to push my work to the chi Chinese market. How do you feel your MA experience has contributed to the establishment of your creative practice? Yeah, definitely. Uh, the MA uh, study is very important for me. I think uh, anyone study from the MA always think uh, the experience is very important because uh, the MA study can can tell you how to uh, become a kind of a pro a professional artist in this area, mm -hmm. and also try to uh, tell you what, uh, how how to come to do your own uh, professional practice. And uh, from the MA, I study a lot, but most important thing is about uh, uh, how to. Uh, how to do a critical thinking. Um, since completing your MA studies, what do you think have been the biggest challenges in your practice to date? Uh, yeah, the biggest challenges for me is about how to find the balance between the uh, normal market and the, the speci uh, specific uh, market. Mm -hmm. uh, because for my journey, it's kind of a private uh, topic and uh, kind of serious things, right? Uh, but it's quite a personal thing. Yeah, it's it? quite, quite mm -hmm. personal. And uh, also, uh, doing the MA, we, we did a market test uh, for our pieces. And I, I found by that time, uh, my jury is not really accept, uh, accepted by the, uh, by the big range of the market. But uh, for some, 
the is is kind of a uh, very narrow narrow range market. So in this stage, I'm trying uh, I'm trying to uh, find some way to uh, to do the, uh, to do the both thing at the same time. Uh, mm. In one aspect, I try to uh, I still I still want to making some uh, jewelry as my previous work, uh, which is kind of large pieces for the gallery jewelry, and uh, I can show a lot of my uh, ideas in in these pieces. Mm. But in another way, I also try to uh, find some method to change my uh, my piece uh, my pieces to. Uh, for the uh, for the normal market, mm -hmm. and I mm, the first thing I try to make my piece become more uh, become smaller, and also I add some uh, add some more uh, precious my uh, precious metals on it, and also uh, 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 and well, that kind of leads on to my next question which was, had, have you had to compromise any aspects of your work, mm -hmm. for example, to appeal to a particular market or to make your work more sellable, which is kind of what you started talking about, using more precious metals, yes, and right. do you see that as a compromise, or? Mm, not really, because I need client, I need money, uh, mm -hmm. but, uh, but doing this process, in the same time, I feel it's kind of challenging for, for myself because I, I need to find this kind of balance. Uh, when, when I do in the, my, my large piece uh, at the same time, I need to think how to uh, transfer this uh, large piece to, into smaller piece mm -hmm. and uh, keep, uh, still can keep the relationship between each other mm -hmm. and also can transfer uh, my concept into it. Uh, it's also kind of uh, good practice for myself, I think. Um, since completing your MA, have you found there to be much support with regards to business and entrepreneurship by our organizations or any charities? Not really, but uh, I got support from School of Jewelry. Uh, they offer my position for the artist resident here for two years, and I, in this uh, during this uh, period, I got I I already a lot of experience, and uh, also I I can have my own workshop to continue with my work. So that's really important. How much of an online presence do you have? Um, for example, a website or a blog, or are you a member of an online creative community? Yeah, uh, I have my own, uh, own blog. Uh, during my MA study, I always set up it. And uh, in this stage, I, uh, I'm doing my own website now and try to put some of my new work on it and my, uh, my portfolio. And also some news about myself in, uh, recently. That's kind of important for, uh, for my personal practice and the development. I think uh, because I am the member of the Crop House and also the member of the ACJ. What do you aim to achieve within your creative practice within the next five years? Ah, uh, <laughs> that's a tough question. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what are your sort of goals and aspirations? Yeah, yeah. Uh, because uh, in, in this stage, I'm trying to, uh, I'm thinking about to apply the PhD. Uh, yeah, um, because uh, I already told I, uh, I'm enjoy this teaching, and I, I hopefully I can be a teacher in the future days. Uh, so uh, that's why I'm trying to study PhD, and also I, I really like. Uh, the work I'm doing myself uh, in, in this stage. Uh, so I, I hope that I can continue with the, uh, this part, continue in the uh, PhD, mm. Mm, can make it more deep. Mm. Uh, uh, also, I, uh, for my um, pra uh, professional practice, I, I still want to uh, make more clients for myself and uh, um, maybe 
made, made my client more international, not just from UK and the EU, also um, from some uh, Asian country. Uh, I'm still keep to try different exhibitions uh, every time, and in this stage I got several exhibitions to prepare. Uh, one down in Oxford, and another, uh, another two ones uh, in Germany, and another is in. Uh, oh, I can't remember where it is. And sorry. Uh, mm, also, uh, in future, I. Uh, I, I would like to find some more galleries for myself, and, uh, 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 especially in China, because I, I quite, uh, I, I really hope to promote the contemporary jewelry mm. part in China and to let more pe uh, Chinese people to to know about contemporary jewelry. Hopefully they can buy my piece. Yeah. Added bonus. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Do you have any words of advice for someone wanting to follow a similar career path? Yeah, of course. Uh, I think the MA study is just the beginning. If you really want to continue with this part, I think uh, when you graduate, there will be another MA for your whole life. So you still need to continue thinking and uh, thinking what you got to do and uh, to make more career, creative thinking for yourself because uh, after that there will be no, no one can help you. You, you, you got to work for yourself.